You ever feel like nothing good was ever gonna happen to you? Yeah, and nothing did. So what? I'm alive, I'm surviving. So that's what today's video is about. Where's my arc, Polly? That's it. I don't want to just survive. Christopher Moltisanti is looking for his arc from the very beginning. His identity. That reason to wake up in the morning and instead of wanting to hide under the covers and go back to sleep, get out of bed in the pursuit of something. No more distractions. Focus. No drugs. Eye on the prize. We hear Christopher talk about how he thought that that oath would be his arc, his higher power. His foundation. I said to myself that that oath would be my higher power. That would be my strength. That code. That's a soldier's oath. Are you serious? My baby. I was a kid. My friend Ronnie, we'd play on the floor in my kitchen. Matchbox cars or whatever. He'd go home. Ronnie's mother made him stop coming over. My kid, it'll be different. He'll be proud of his house. Christopher wanted to be made in America. He wanted to be a made man. He became a made man. Now he wants this American dream. Problem was, even if something looks nice on the outside, what's on the inside is just as, if not more, important. Whatever. Here I am. Like Tony said, once you enter this family, there's no getting out. He can't leave. What's the next best option? For him? He looks for something else to help him cope. Using. Using. We know that Puss and Tony have been friends for a very long time. In fact, Puss tells AJ he was there with him at the hospital every day when Puss's younger sister was sick with meningitis, including on the day she died. We know that Puss has a special place in Tony's heart, too. That's the difference between Puss and the others. Him you loved. What do you know about Scottsdale? Arizona? Yeah, I was thinking I would pick there to live when this assignment is over. Assignment? Naturally, I'm talking about after I do my two years in Lewisburg. I've been thinking about taking some courses while I'm in the can. Psychology, criminology. Maybe go around and give lectures at police departments on OC. All the way up until the very end, Puss was still trying to convince himself and others that he was going to be the hero in the situation. What was your plan for that? That was the beauty part. I didn't even use my own car. I switched with my son. I got a lot to offer. And I hate LCN. You are gonna help us build a case against Tony Soprano. And I know what kind of a man he is. Don't ever forget it. What's the matter? Now go down and enjoy your party. Make your parents happy. You got your help, your family. Enjoy it while you can. Why you got it, all in your hand. it was really beautiful and talented acting on the part of Vincent Pastor here when he's crying, when his emotions are just too much to hold in, as he's saying these things to AJ about his father being a stand-up guy and, and his father always being there for him. He's thinking at the same time, I've been ratting on my friend. That could make AJ's dad, for all intents and purposes, end up in prison, end up away from them. So when he says, go downstairs, you have your family. In his mind, he knows that he could be possibly contributing to their family not being together down the line. Kid, Richard Kimball, the devil's whatever, those are all make-believe. Hey, I got no work either. I was born, grew up, spent a few years in the army, a few more in the can. And here I am, I have a wise guy. So what? One thing among many that made Polly Walnuts so unique wasn't just that he was single and never married, but that he never knew his father. But when Polly found out that she wasn't his biological mom, it was like a jolt to Polly's system and a painful reminder that there's so much that he doesn't know. Worst thing, I'm not who I am. It's like my whole life is a joke. He jokes about having no arc either, but the waterworks eventually come out. Personally, I don't think it was right for his biological mom to tell him right on her deathbed that she was his mother. All it did was torture Polly, as we see. He's my boy, Tony. It'd kill me if anything happened to him. 
What are you talking about? Tony, please. I'm his mother, Tony. I love him. <laughs> but even before Polly found out that Nucci was his aunt and Dottie was his mom, he had another little mini identity crisis at the end of season four. He's at this wedding where it's hard to think that family, children, grandkids, etc. don't pop into his mind at least at one point. When he gets that blank look from Carmine. The groom's dad is my third cousin. Beautiful ceremony, eh? What's your name again? How is Carmine? He asks about you. Give him my love. I will. You like hearing that. Paulie Gaultieri. Jersey. And he goes into the bathroom and stares at himself in the mirror. It's almost like he's still trying to figure out who he is. So, all in all, to wrap it up, what were these characters' arcs? You know who had an arc? Noah. Nothing. What you call it? Disinformation so I could live. I will do nothing, Tony. Nothing to put you in harm's way. He wanted that positive character arc. The redemption story. Polly, as we see by the end, he's pretty much in the same spot that he was in the beginning. Now, Christopher? It seems like Christopher wanted to have his cake and eat it too. He wanted to be made in America and also have that typical all-American dream. Or did he? With Polly, it's interesting because we're used to thinking of characters going on their journey and then finding out more about themselves and their lives by the time they're at the end, whether good or bad. With Polly, it's like the other way around. He didn't know much about his life, his story. By the end, he knows even less. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What'd you think?